Welcome everyone to my channel on YouTube, Sergio Javier Perez, and I invite you to subscribe with us or click in the bell in order to open the notification for the coming video. Today is Friday, September 11, 2020. We remember the victims and all people who sacrificed their lives uh, in the um, New York Towers uh, in 2001. Today is also we pray for the peace throughout the world, for all peoples who are a peacemaker, for those people who dedicate their life and consecrate their life for the wellness of everyone. Today in the Gospel of St. Luke, we continue to talk us about how we to establish a the real society, the peaceful society for the new human being. Today we have the opportunity for Christian and believers and no believers and no Christians to agree on something that is necessary to understand perfectly. And let me tell you, is the inner healing, but also to understand that when we heal by uh, our inner, we can see clear other people's life. And the gospel today tell us how true this is and how easy it is to see the minor faults of the others and at the same time, fail to see our own more obvious and serious faults. Why this is the case? First of all, because our sin or pride blind us. Pride keeps us from any honest self-reflection. Pride becomes a max we were which presents a false persona. Pride is an ugly sin because it keeps us from the truth. It keeps us from seeing ourselves and the light of truth and as a result, it keeps us from seeing the lock of our own eye. When we are full of pride, another thing happens. We start to focus on our every small fault of those around us. Interestingly, this gospel speaks of the tendency to see the splinter in your brother's eyes. What does that tell us? It tells us that those who are full of pride are not so much interested in putting down the serious sinners. Rather, they tend to seek out those who have only small sins, splinters as a sins, and they tend to try and make them seem more serious than they are. Suddenly, those stupid and pride feel far more treated by the saint than by the serious sinner. Let us face it when we are stuck in a pattern of sin. It is as if a wounded being were block blocking our vision. As long as we tolerate or excuse our sins, as long as we don't seek out the grace of reconciliation, we are blinded. What is more, we remain immature disciples and we might even end up leading people away from Jesus by our poor example. But all is not lost. God has given us the gift of self-examination and the sacrament of reconciliation. That's how the sin that blocks our vision and remove. We begin to see the difference between sin and holiness more clearly. We begin to look at the people around us differently. We become less likely to notice their faults and more likely to see Christ in them. We become less likely to jump the judgmental thoughts about them and more likely to forgive them. Beyond the forgiveness, examining our conscience and confessing our sins are vital in our training as disciples. We face up to the ways we fall short and we receive the grace to overcome our shortcomings. Through the sacrament and the counsel of the priest, we begin to see things that we, Jesus, does and we release from the hold that sin has not on us. As a result, we become better friends, better neighbors, and more true to the, our vocation. We are more able to love the people around us and to lead them not into a pit, but to Jesus. But also the thing is for, even if you are not believe as Christian in Jesus, you have all the concepts to believe in something else. That is important because when you enter in the inner healing, that process saying that to the same thing, you can see clear your own mistakes that was big and instead to judge other people's small mistakes, the splinters. And that way we create and establish a peaceful society, peaceful family, peaceful community. 
That is where Pinglin of Charity we commit to. We had a second opportunity for people to see clear at least for the first time in their life when we recognize our sins. We have people who is expertise in to sit down with you and let you see clear about your past, your traumas, your difficult situation, and still judging the past, judging other people, and still make us self-victimizing and self-suffering. And that way, Pilgrim Society needs you. Pilgrim Society today has tremendous challenges to work for people, but without you and without your contribution, we can't do anything. But when you come to us with your talents, ta times and treasure, and share with us, and share that even when you have no times and talent, but you had money and wants us to give us, we can dedicate that money and use it for benefits of many people because sometimes treatment and, um, involve a lot of money. Uh, therapies, uh, professionals are expenses today. But that contribution helps us other people to change the life, the transformation of the life that, that can be involved into the society and improve the society today. Your contribution makes the difference. So let us make the difference today, contributing with feelings of charity. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. May God bless you.